week eight of the PPL is among us, ladies and gentlemen. And this week we are facing none other than the top of the league table, Shardy, otherwise known as Serious Butt Sex. Not a very intimidating name, I will give him that. But he's got a very intimidating squad. And squad? Squad. Um, so we've really got to bring out a game this week. He's got threats like Sork, Mesperate, Mega Sizzle, Alander Asterion, as well as some really, really decent bulk. Jellicent Regirock is going to be difficult to break down. We've got to bring out a game, we've got to step it up, and we've got some tricks up our sleeves. I really hope this week goes swimmingly. Let's go to the battle. So, uh, this week, as I mentioned, we do have some tricks up our sleeves, um, and it's going to be very difficult to pull off, but if it works, we will be the best fucking team of the season, possibly, potentially, maybe. We are bringing a rain team this week, ladies and gents. We're bringing the unexpected, something that Shardy will probably not prepare for, because when you look at my team, it doesn't look like a rain team, but the best thing about it is on team preview, it will look like a balanced fucking squad. So let's get into it, shall we? We have, first of all, we're rocking the life orb. We're bringing offensive frost last this week, and I am so excited to see this do some work. We have not battled yet. This is completely before the um, before the match, hence why I have no GFX this week. So apologies for those that like the GFX. Um, I just don't have time to fuck around with stuff. Pause. Um, right. So, Frost Lass, we have Rain Dance, one of our sessions, Weather Ball, Ice Beam, and Thunder. Thunder to two hit KO the Jellison. Originally, I did want to bring a mixed uh, mixed Frost Lass with Crunch because that two hit KO's Jellison regarding uh, uh, basically if it's not physically defensive. Um, but then I saw that it got Weather Ball. And I was like, shit, son, I have a Seismitoad, man. We could make this work. We could make this work. Um, so yeah, Thunder to two hit KO Jellicent with the spread. Uh, Ice Beam to hit hard, because he's got a big ice weakness. Frostlass is really fucking fast, and it does a astounding amount of work against his team. Rain Dance to set up, and obviously Weather Ball for that Reggie Rock, if he does decide to bring it. It'll also hit Nido King. Well, Ice, ice Beam will hit Nido King, but so will Weather Ball. Um, plus style points, you know, so those are always good. Um, only things we've got to watch out for this week are Sucker Punch, Nido King, and Bullet Punch, Scissor. Um, Scissor walls this thing to the end and back, but that is why, ladies and gentlemen, we have the bay. We have completely speed, uninvested, choice scarfed, <laughs> don't understand. Um, I brought this because even without speed investment, it will still outspeed Adamant Crobat, max speed. Um, I don't think he'll be bringing Jolly Crobat because that's just a little bit silly, given the fact that my team is quite slow. So we have the Bay, U-Time Flare Blitz, super power on there for fucking Reggie Rock. that thing is a problem for my team. And Will-O-Wisp for other switch-ins like Jellicent, Nido King. I, I don't know why I'd switch a Nido King on a Darmanitan, maybe he's a man, maybe he's a man, but uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, and U-Time obviously on there for initiative, Will-O-Wisp is basically in there. On there, sorry. Um, for Reggie Rock or Scissor switch ins. Why would why would he ever switch in a scissor on a Dom? I'm I'm fucking. It's what nerves does to you, man. Um, fully HP invested because we are going to be taking a fuck ton of recoil for Flare Blitz, especially if he brings anything with Rocky Helmet. Uh, Rocky Helmet Jellison could be a thing because it does get recover, and I'm very weary of that. So this is basically my backup plan if there is no rain up, otherwise I will straight up lose. Um, this thing fucking destroyed Shardy's team as long as Reggie Rock is not around. So my game plan is to get rid of Reggie Rock early and then just sweep him with either Darmanasan or my other late game sweeper, which we'll get to in a second. Now, let's move on to Seismitoad. Uh, especially, uh, especially defensive? No. Uh, Seismitoad is uh, another rain setter. Uh, Damp Rock, obviously. We've got Sub on there this week. I did initially have Ice Punch, but I realised Surf is a two hit KO on a Crobat anyway. Um, Surf Knockoff is really fucking good coverage for his team. And I'm running a minus for Death Nature because I won't be staying in on his, uh, on his special walls because they all learn Grass Knot, basically. Uh, Jellison gets Giga Drain, Zoroark gets Grass Knot, uh, Lando gets Grass Knot, but 
uh, if if the rain is up, I outspeed his whole team. If, um, I outspeed his whole team. Uh, even Scarf is... Um, I've got a bit of speed on there to just set up rain in case he wants to invest in Jellicent. Um, I don't think he will, but just in case. Um, I don't think I would set up rain against the Jellicent in case it is carrying the Giga Drain. Uh, but Sub is on there kind of to scout if it does carry the uh, the Giga Drain. Uh, knockoff is a two hit KO guaranteed, uh, even if it's physically defensive. Uh, it's, and Surf in the rain just fucking destroys his team. Um, he's definitely not going to be anticipating this. I'm really looking forward to using it in battle. I I really want this team to work, not going to lie. Um, Surf hits everything on his team. The only thing I'm worried about is especially defensive Scissor. Um, that can't... Oh, to be fair, Scissor can't really do much to me, back to me if it's special defensive. We shall see. Um, I don't even know if he's going to bring Scissor because I have things to handle it. Uh, next up we have our Suicide Lead Heatran. Oh my, where, where are my EVs gone? That should be there. Um, it is, no, 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 that should have, that should have more speed, I realise. Right, uh, that should have more speed to outspeed. Modest Nidoking. Um, yes, you had right, we have sped crept, Modest Nidoking. Um, also Adamant Sork, I believe. Or is it base 95 Sork? Maybe I'm completely wrong on that. But yes, we have sped crept this Heatran. Suicide lead, Focus Slash, Stealth Rock, because that is incredibly important in this game to whittle the, uh, for his flying types, basically, and to break any potential sashes. And he's got a sturdy user and use of Sork. So Stealth Rocks are gonna be very, very important in this game. Uh, we have sped crept to outspeed Modest Nido King and to wreck it with an explosion, should he lead with it. So we have Stealth Rock, Explosion, Crunch, in case you want to switch into Jelly, predicting the explosion. Uh, I will have to play around that when we get to it. And Flash Cannon for Reggie Rock, in case he decides to lead with that. Uh, Flash Cannon with that investment is a two hit KO, uh, unless he is spe specially defensive with an Assault Vest, which I highly doubt he'll bring. Um, this is basically, it's got one job and it's to explode and go for Stealth Rock. That's that's all its job is this week. Uh, not the best use of a Heatran, but rocks are gonna be so important in this game. Um, moving on, we have Electroiquin, uh, Eel Troikrin, especially defensive with Damp Rock. I was gonna put reflect uh, light screen on this, sorry, but I had a huge four move syndrome with this this week. Uh, I had to bring another Rain Scepter in case Seismitoad or Kim both went down early. Uh, not Seismitoad. If Seismitoad was weak and couldn't set it up, I set it up the Rain basically. Uh, Volt Switch on there for initiative, Thunder on there just for big, big hitting stuff, and T-Wave is on there to cripple. Mono Electric attacking is really silly considering he does have immunity, but um, I don't know, we'll see. Th th this basically his main job is to somewhat wall the Ruark, unless it's Nasty Plot, in which case I am fucked. Uh, it's to somewhat wall and cripple the Ruark. Um, because this can take two spec start pulses, which is fucking disgusting. Um, get off a T-Wave, uh, Rain Dance next turn, and then Volt Switch into said Mon that can take a Dark Pulse? No, Volt Switch is on- I don't know- I don't even know. Volt Switch is on there for Red, uh, Reggie Rock and Jellison, basically. If they're in with those, I can Volt Switch out, predicting their switch, uh, basically. Uh, it's just for initiative, that's- Basically, all Electros' role this week is to set up that rain dance, and, and I've put 12 EVs in speed to guarantee I outspeed Red Rock uninvested. Um, hopefully he hasn't speed crept Electros, because that will be a problem. And then last, but certainly not least, we have Salamance. Oh my god, I... Oh, this thing could do so much work if I use it right. So you're probably looking at my set. And my EVs, just like Ellie, what the fuck is in front of me right now? You're you're not wrong. Um, I need a flamethrower and I needed hydro pump for his specially uh, for his physically bulky mons. Reggie Rock walls this to no end. Um, but hydro pump is a two hit KO with that investment. Um, 28 EVs and special attack is guaranteed a two hit KO with hydro pump with lefties. Um. I just gotta hit them both and pray he doesn't have T-Wave or Rock Slide, which he's fucking certain to carry if he's bringing that Reggie Rock. And I need a Flamethrower for the Scissor, because Earthquake doesn't kill it at plus one, nor does Dragon Claw. 
um, and Dragon Dance is to just outspeed his team basically and get to plus one. A plus one Dragon Claw Adamant, I'm pretty sure Oko's a Jellicent after rocks, and Moxie is gonna help me get more power. Um, again, this EV spread is to outspeed Modest Nido King or Adamant. Um, and the two coverage moves are on there for Scissor and uh, for Redirect. Also for Defensive Landorus T, um, which is a problem for my team somewhat. Anyway, that is the team. I really hope it does work this week. We will see how it goes. I'll see you in the battle. Hey guys, it's Ellie here. Today I am bringing you week eight of the PPL. I am terrified. We are facing none other but Shardy this week. Um, my webcam needs to move over here. So apologies for that. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and challenge uh, Shardy right now. Um, I'm absolutely terrified of this man's squad. But we shall go ahead and ask for a single battle with normal rules without game chat because that would not be preferable, you know, revealing to my opponent my sets and my strategies. So we're challenging him right now. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm shitting myself a little bit. This guy's team is fucking scary. He's got Clefable, Jealous and Regirock, which on its own is really, really hard to break down. Uh, he's got Lando, he's got Mega Scissor, he's got fucking Zeruark, he's got Sork, and he's got Mesper. Things like that are really huge threats. I'm gonna double check my Pokemon. Uh, just gonna double check everything because I don't want to do a Troy. Uh, Troy, if you're watching this right now, I'm very sorry. Please don't get offended. Um, everything is fine and dandy. I'm gonna regret having a. Uh, Probably gonna regret having sub on Seismitoad this week, but that's okay. Uh, we're just gonna start the battle because we've got everything. Party Pokemon underway. Right, what is Shardy bringing? What is Shardy bringing? What is he bringing? He is bringing Regirock. He's definitely gonna need this that, maybe. Okay, so he's bringing Regirock, Zeruark, Mega Scissor, Nido King, Crobat, and Jellicent. We've got to be really careful of this Nido King because we don't know if it's physical or special. Looking at his team though, it does look like it's physically offensive. Um, Life Orb, Zeruark, maybe Nasty Plot, maybe even Specs or Scarf. I can see him leading with Zeruark, disguised as Crobat, or disguised as Regirock. Uh, Heatran is my designated lead, I have no reason not to lead with it. He doesn't have any fake out easers, so my sash will be intact. If he leaves with Crobat and goes for U turn, it means he will break the sash, but that's okay. This heat trans job is to literally set up rocks and do stuff. Hopefully, he doesn't have Torn on Crobat. I didn't even think of that. Ah, oh, that's not good. Um, so he's still choosing his lead, which is okay. He's thinking about it. All right, so, all right, let's go, Shardy. Let's go. Let's go! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, calm down. So what's he gonna lead with here? Shardy is issuing a challenge, but he might be- he sends out Mr. H, which is his Reggie Rock. See, the thing is, I want to go for Flash Cannon real bad right now, but this could be Zeruark, and he could just be going for HB Ground or like Focus Blast or something right now. And then I'd lose my Heatran turn one without getting up rocks. Uh, so if he gets up rocks, they are here to stay because I do not have a defogger this week. Um, I am just going straight for stealth rock. If he goes for focus blast, it means it is a zero arc. I would love it for him to miss, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go straight for stealth rock. As he's gonna withdraw! Ooh, is he gonna go into jelly? He's gonna go into Jellison, 50 cent. We do have the crunch on this and we can take any hit because we are sashed. If we could kill this Jellison early on, that would be fantastic. Um, I have no reason not to go for Crunch right now. I could have predicted that, but I didn't want to in case it was a zero arc lead. I couldn't risk it. Um, he obviously switched out there, anticipating the Flash Cannon, uh, which was a good... Uh, oh, okay, so we land the Crunch. How much is this doing? Are you physically defensive? That's not... Was that a low roll? He's going to go for Scald. Um, it's going to break my Sash, which is okay. Uh, that does a lot of damage! Uh, oh, that was a crit, so maybe we could have lived two of those, but that's okay. Um, as I said, this is a suicide lead. Um, if we can get a defense drop with the crunch, that'd be fantastic. Uh, but I am going to go for another crunch, as he might withdraw into Crobat if it's defensive, maybe even Scissor. Uh, if he's got speed investment to finish me off with a superpower. I'm not packing a fire move this week, because this was my suicide lead. I didn't think he would lead with Scissor. 
as I'm gonna go for another crunch, hopefully get a crit or maybe a defense drop. Um, as he's probably gonna go for a recover here. As he's just gonna go for scald. Hopefully he gets a min roll. And uh, okay, no, so he does take us out, but uh Alright, so what do we do now? His his Jellison is at pitiful damage. Pitiful damage? Pitiful pitiful health. Um go for her. I could go into Kim here and set up the rain. Um, no, I need to keep Kim around for... Uh, I need to keep Kim around for the crowbar. If I go into it though, would it, would it scare him out? Put it in Shadow Ball perhaps? We're in a really really good position. His Jellicent is really weakened. He's around 30%. I need to calc if a... Um, if a Darmanathan U-turn will kill this. I am pretty sure that its resist bug is resisted. Um, I don't think it'll KO from that range. Because uh, it does 49 to 70%. Uh, it doesn't have the chance to KO, uh, so I can't go into Darm. I can go into Seismitoad and finish it off as a knockoff. He's gonna know that I am speed invested though. Um, or oh, will he? He might not be running investment this week. Uh, he could have speed investment because that crunch was doing a lot. Um... See, the thing is, I have to go for knockoff here in case he's got Giga Drain. Um, I can't set up the rain yet. I could equally set up a sub to scout if he has the grass move, but I don't want him going for a cover. So knockoff is my safest play here. Um, hopefully he doesn't have- no, he doesn't have the Cola Berry because his lefties are gone. Alright, so he's gonna faint. Now what's he gonna bring in here? Jellicent is down, which is really, really, really good. That is- that was one of the things stopping, um, Salamence. Um, oh my god, we're in a very good position, ladies and gents. Now he could go into Zoroark here. We're gonna have to look very closely on, uh, rocks- rocks damage. Uh, is he's gonna go into yeah that's definitely Zeruark. that's definitely oh is it because that looks like resisted rocks damage he could be going for toxic maybe he thinks i'm defensive maybe i don't know if that's reggie rock or fucking Zeruark. this is difficult i'm pretty sure that's I could go into Electros here and set up, uh, and set up the rain. I really think this is Zeruark. I can't tell. I can't tell from the fucking hazard. My safest play is, is to go to Electros in case it is Zeruark. Uh, he may be going for rocks right now, maybe, maybe a Toxic on this thing. Um, but I can't risk this being Zeruark and it packing Giga Drain. Not Giga Drain. Uh, Grass Knot. Um, I can't really tell if that is Reggie Rock or, or not. Um, he could be a salt vest actually with uh, Drain Punch and all those shenanigans. Uh, but I am going to withdraw this because this is my win condition this week. He might predict me and double into something, maybe. Oh, it is Grass Knot! It is a Zoroark! Okay, that's fantastic knowledge. We can set up the rain here. That is definitely Specs. We are especially defensive. Holy fuck, that does a lot. What's he going to go into here? Probably the Nido King. Um, rain Dance is my safest play here. Um, I definitely need to do it, pause. Um, he's definitely going to switch in Nido right now. Um, it's this, or maybe even the real Ridgy Rock. I don't think he'd go into Scissor because he might think I have the Flamethrower, which wouldn't be a bad call, to be fair, because uh, I do resist uh, Scissor's dual stab, I believe. Not not U turn, but I resist its priority, so. Um, Flamethrower would not be a bad shout. I am one of attacking this week, which is kind of unfortunate. I really want to go for T-Wave right now, but honestly, Rain Dance is my best bet. We're in a very, very, very good position. I just realised his Water Absorber is gone. We can spam Surf, baby. We can spam Surf. We're in such a good position. Rocks are going to be a huge help for us in this match. Um, so he's, he's going to withdraw here. Um, not wanting to take a T-Bolt, maybe. Is he's going to go into Nido King? Okay. Um, okay, we're in a good position. As we set up the rain, which is fantastic. Um, I do want to conserve this because we can come in on on Thingy Mobobby again and go for it. 
Uh, so Shardy is probably shitting himself right now. And my dad has just walked in. Say hi to YouTube, dad! Hi, YouTube. <laughs> I'm recording a video right now. Um, what do you want? <laughs> I want you to kitchen. kitchen? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it after this battle. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Um, cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to battle right now, Dad, and yes, um, things and stuff and lovely things. I'll do it in a minute. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. Uh, but, yeah, bye. Um, shit, what do I, what do I go into here? I don't know. Um, I need mints for some things and some stuff. Um, sorry about that. I'm kind of panicking right now. Because I need to conserve this. Now, possible moves on this are definitely going to be Ice Beam or Ice Punch, so I cannot go into mints. No way. Uh, the rain is up. I don't see him going for an earthquake. We could go into Darmanitan here as a really risky pivot. Um, he's got to be going for Poison Jab right now. Um, I'm going to make the aggressive switch into Seismitoade. Uh, we can take any one hit from this. We're going to have to be really aggressive with the Seismitoad. Um, I really hope this is the right play. I hope he's clicking Poison Jab right now. As he does go for the safe Poison Jab, hopefully we don't get poisoned, because that would be really good. Uh, no poison! Thank God. Um, so I'm free to fire off a of Surf right now. Um, I don't want to go for Substitute, because he could very well go into Crobat right now as a pivot. He has to sack something here, or let something get two hit KO'd, which is fantastic. Um, I have no reason not to go for Slurf, because his Water Absorber is, is perished, it's gone. I hope this doesn't have Sucker Punch. I really hope this Nido doesn't have Sucker Punch, because we'd be in a fantastic position if it doesn't. Oh my god, guys, we're in a very good position right now. The rain is up. Okay, so that's that's one turn. That's two turns of rain now? I set it up on the incoming Nido. So and then he went for Poison Jab. So that's one turn of rain, right? That's how it works with Damp Rock. So I've got eight turns? I should have researched this before. Fuck. Oh well. Um, but I have no reason not to go for Scald. At Scald, go for Surf. Um, so something is getting too hit KO'd right now, unless it's like, especially defensive Crobat with a sort vest, which is not going to be likely. So he's going to withdraw. Um, he's going to realise that Nido King does a lot of work. He's going to go into Crobat. Um, after rocks, he's not going to appreciate this surf. How much does it do? <laughs> oh my god, it just dies! <laughs> Crobat just fucking got decimated! Oh my god. God, okay, we are in a fun that just fucking drops. That I did not expect that to die. Oh my god, okay, alright. Um I need to calc how much this will do to a uh to a Zeruan. I could just fucking sweep how much does this do to a scissor? Because if this Oko scissor I think I can just sweep. Oh my god guys, we're about to fucking decimate his team. I knew bringing this would be the fucking good idea. Okay, 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 okay. I need to calm down. I need to stop getting ahead of myself. As he's gonna go into Scissor Sim and threaten me out. I do resist the bullet punch. Um, um, okay, okay, okay. Let's calc this. Plus, all right, modest, where you at? I'm not modest, but I just need a special attacking nature. Surf, how much do you do, good sir? Uh, he could be max HP, or he could have speed investment this week. I'm not too sure what kind of spread the scissor could be. This could be specially defensive with Defog. Um, either way, uh, after rocks, Surf is a guaranteed two hit KO, whilst he cannot take me out, um, unless he's going for superpower right now. Uh, that's not true, I don't have to- wait, no, 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 wait, am I, am I minus special defense? Um, I need this for Reggie Rock, and I need this for Nido King. I have to conserve this, he could have Pursuit, which is an issue. Um, U-turn shouldn't take me out right now, because it's not boosted by technician. So he should he should be going for uh, he should be going for superpower right now. So I have to switch. I absolutely have to conserve this. Um, I do have a Salamence in the back. Um, I feel I feel Salamence is my safest switch here, as he might end up going for the U-turn, possibly going into uh, maybe Nido King. Um, so he's going to Mega Evolve. Oh god, if this has HB Ice, is he a, is he man enough for HB Ice? I kind of regret not bringing uh, Intimidate now. 
as he goes for superpower, which was his safest play. Um, so right now, I can set up a Dragon Dance. Um, he's going to see that I'm lefties. Um, I can set up a Dragon Dance right now, and that means I'll outspeed his whole team. Uh, his best play is to just hard switch out, because Flamethrower and the Rain will still hurt this, like, a lot. His best switch is into Regirock right now, and I kinda... I'm gonna set up a Dragon Dance. Um, it's my best opportunity to, um, unless this thing has fucking HB Ice, in which case I wouldn't even be mad if he had HB Ice. Oh man, please. I need this. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna hard switch, not wanting to take a fire blast or a flame for a good play on my behind, uh, opponent's behalf. So that is the real Reggie Rock. Will the real Reggie Rock please stand up? Please stand up. As I'm gonna set up a DD. Uh, so we are at plus one right now. We outspeed his whole team unless his uh, Nido King is scarfed, because of course we didn't see the item. Um, he could possibly be life orb. Although if he did have sucker punch, he would have gone for it. So perhaps he's not scarf. Um I have no reason not to go for Hydro Pump right now, uh, because it should Oko this in the rain, unless it's specially defensive. Um, please don't miss- OH MY GOD WE CONNECT! Please, 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 kill it, kill it, kill it! Oh, that lived on the slitherest of slithers of health. Um, Rock Slide is not gonna take me out, because we have HP investment, baby! Oh yeah! Fucking suck it, Shardy! Um, oh shit, Zoroark could have Sucker Punch. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> I just realised the error of my ways. Dragon Claw would be able to take it out from that range. We're gonna get a Moxie Boost. We're at plus two right now. Plus one speed. We outspeed his whole fucking team unless he's got a Scarfer. We could get a Saruman Sweep right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, the hype is so real. Can we pull off the Saruman Sweep? Oh, he's got fucking Scissor. Is Bullet Punch gonna kill me? We need to calc this real quick. We need to run a calc. Uh, he's forced to bullet punch right now. He's absolutely forced to go for bullet punch. Um, let's calc it. Uh, adamant max attack. I'm fucking shaking right now, guys. You have no idea. Um, I have HP investment. I am not Mega Salamence. It is not an intimidated. I know. Get that out of the calc right now. It's not intimidated. Um, oh my god, bullet punch just... Fucking loads! Jesus Christ. Um, do I need to conserve this? Because it. I don't know if it outspeeds the Nido King, is the thing. Because he could be timid, and I'm. I'm tailored to outspeed modest Nido King. Shit. Um, alright, how much HP investment do we have? Let's go to Showdown. Let's remember our couch. Let's remember. Let's remember. Let's not rush it. Play. Um,. Uh, all right. We have 88 HP investment. Uh, level 50. This is singles. Uh, bullet punch is able to take me out from that range. Absolutely. Um. So we do have to switch out here, which is kind of unfortunate. His only play is to go for bullet punch. Uh, I'm gonna make a really aggressive switch into Don Manatan, and Flare Blitz will be able to take it out in the rain. Um, because it's a fucking dumb Anasan, come on now. Um, what does he have left? He has a Zoroark left, he has a Nido King. If he goes to Superpower here, predicting my switch, he is a lord. Um, so Bullet Punch is gonna be doing fucking nothing. The rain stops! I think I just win. I think I just win with Scarf Thingy. Oh my god, I think I just won with Scarf Lerblitz. Are we gonna get fucking 5 -0 against Shardy? No way. No fucking way. This can't be over already. He's got to have some tricks up his sleeve. He has to. So he's going to withdraw and go into... He's going to go into... Nido kick. That's not taking the flare blitz. That's not taking the flare blitz. No fucking way. No way. If he goes into Zoroark, he's definitely got... Uh, he's definitely got Sucker Punch. Maybe he's Rocky Helmet. Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. Uh, we go... Whoa, the recoil is real. He definitely has HP investment, that did so much. Uh, we are gonna outspeed this unless it's Scarfed. Um, and if it is Scarfed, then I can come in and revenge it with the appropriate move. So I will stay in here at the risk he's got Sucker Punch. As he hasn't got Sucker Punch, he's not Scarfed! 
Oh my god, don't go down to recoil, baby. Don't do it, don't do this to me, Dom. Come on, HP investment pull through. Is that over already? Fucking, no fucking way. No fucking way. No way is this over. No fucking way, I refuse. I refuse to believe the fact that this is over. Um, he's just gonna go for bullet punch here. Um, it won't take me out, but... It means Darn will go down to recoil, which is kind of unfortunate. It means we will be coming away with a 4 0 victory. Oh my fucking god, that is insane. Um, as he's gonna go for Bullet Punch, maybe hoping, fishing for a crit. Yeah, we just hang on! Just hang on, Darn is bagging itself three kills this week. Scissor is gonna get fucking decimated by that Flare Blitz. And we are walking away with maybe a 5 0, 4 0 victory. Oh, he went down to recoil! Oh! We're gonna walk away with a 4-0 victory this week against Shardy fucking- OH MY GOD! Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm fucking- Oh my god. Yes, I would like to save that battle. Oh my god, we just beat Shardy. Fucking hell. Um, next week I believe we are facing Alex? Of the Celta Dino? Um... Oh my fucking god, we just got a 4-0 against Shardy. I cannot believe it. Oh my fucking god. Um, GG, Shardy, thank you for the battle. It was a pleasure. I'm gonna go. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next upload. Holy fuck. <laughs>